What's going on you guys? Toy Rex here. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys my two new altars. I did change everything around for Embolk or Embolic, however the hell you say it. That holiday, I changed everything around. Basically, I did spring cleaning for my room and my altar stuff. And I made a new altar. This used to be the other way. So that used to be the top of it. But right now, this is my new altar. I got a dragon back here with no wings because I took down the Santa Morte's altar. You can see those three shelves are her altar. I took it down because I'm going to put a shelf right here, like a corner shelf, so then she can be in the middle and then things can be on the side. I was going to put her there. She was pissed off at me for taking down her altar, which used to be over there. That'll be another video, Buddha altar. But she got pissed off. She broke two of my things for the new altar. She broke the dragon that I put here. Y'all can see that. And she broke one of the ears off my cats. So yeah. Anyways, we got a dragon. We got a copper thing that used to have red red brick dust in it, which now has incense that I'm gonna burn. Because all my incense, I have so many of them, and I threw a lot of them away that were like broken. And those are the ones that were just out of packages. So I'm just going to burn them to get rid of them. Next, I got my Google Home right here. I got a lot of dragons. because This is the Hecate altar. So, I got this dragon, which you can put a tea light in. I got my dragon incense holder. I have Baphomet on this altar. I know it's a Hecate altar, but I included Baphomet. I got a rock quartz. I got this skull that has blood on it. Some flowers for spring. Here's my Hecate. You got three of her. You got the dog, the snake, and you can't see the animal on the other side, but that's Hecate. With a wand in it, charging. With that big black quartz. Here's a protection candle spell that I learned from Murphy Gray Hunter. This is a new one. I used to have one in a cup. This time I use this thing. It's just salt, bay leaves. I put a rose quartz in it instead of a regular quartz. And I put a tea light. Then down there I have my Hecate spray in that skull spray bottle. And right here we have the Happy Embolk or whatever it said. I don't know how to pronounce it honestly. The sign was an Irish blessing stone. And that's sitting on top of a tree of life table my sister got me and then for Hecate she has two asimes because you guys know she holds two torches so I have two asimes for her I have my Spellman mortuary cup with the pentagram inside of it I have a blue dragon sitting on top of crystals on the side I have my three cats because you know Hecate one of the animals for her is a cat and three of them and Hecate is usually seen with three so I thought it was perfect even though it is Egyptian themed. A little gargoyle, a golden skull. Um, this used to be a spell in there but I just took everything out of it. I put a sage stick in there and purified it and just put regular pink salt in it. Pink salt. Okay, so that was the altar. Now moving up, I have a dream catcher. I have a like a peacock bird, upside down pentagram, pentacle, whatever you want to call it. I have this, which is if I can get it, a necklace for Hecate. Can y'all see that? This window is making the lighting look horrible. Hold on. I have this. And then I have the lights, of course, and I have this bird. This dream picture I made out of pipe cleaners, and it's like crystallized, if y'all can see that. And then I have that cinnamon broom stick right here. And then moving this way, that table is a cluster F right now. It has the wings of the dragon, mortar and pestle, tacks, because I've been hanging stuff. And I sent some more days two candles and stuff like that. And then down here we got the Santa Morte altar. I'm going to do a separate video on that. They're just thrown in there right now. There, there, and there. Right here, though, I wanted to share this little 
cool tip with you guys. If you guys have a Keurig and you buy like this type of box that opens this way, you can just cut the thing right off and you can keep your tea lights in it and put it in your altar so you can just like reach in and grab one out. I thought it was a perfect idea for my altar. And we have Lama Dama shoved in here too. I know I feel so bad for her. I have back there Lama Dama from Arizona. And then I have this one that I got. And that's where this one is from. I don't know where it's from, but she's so cute. And yes, I'm going to be cleansing them. And I'm going to hang a shelf right up above this painting. And I'm going to have Lama Dama way up there so she can look over everything in my room. And then we have this. My sister bought me this also. She bought me this and that one year. And she bought me like um, something else. But I'm going to put it up inside. I'll show you guys. This is a box of crystals. This thing my mom made. Sorry if you can see that in the background. That's like a, a pet carrier. And I just have stuff sitting on it temporarily. This thing my mom made for goodie bags or Christmas party, and I just took it because why not? I'm not going to show you guys in the box because there is like teeth and stuff in here. This thing my sister gave me when she went to New York. A baby feather. My first ever pentagram that obviously is missing a chain. And this coin. I just keep this stuff in here. I actually want to put these on my altar. I got these from my step-grandma. Yeah, that's the box. I really love it. That's like really cool. And yeah, then I just have video games on there. And this one, it's all my miscellaneous crap. Candles, tools, oils. A twilight thing with stuff in it. And yeah, that's the big altar tour. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.